Hey, what's going on, guys? Girls Hard Drive here at Fine Tune CB. This is going to be a two part video. First off, it's going to be this radio by itself and this. Something's been called to my attention about more scammers and Houdini Watts, you know, and people trying to uh, blow smoke up your you know what. It irritates me, even though I've seen these videos, and I won't give out any names at this time. But they're either attempting to learn how to use it. And they, what it looks like, they finally learned how to use it a little bit, and now they're trying to hide everything from you. Okay, I'm not going to go in depth. You can look up, you know, how to use a uh, service monitor, you know, communications test set, and or the spectrum analyzer part, and how to use a spectrum analyzer. And they're all basically the same. I do something as a standard here because I've got so many different kinds of radios and amplifiers on this bench that... I keep everything exactly the same for my viewers so they understand what's going on and don't have to wonder about the hoodoo, hocus pocus, you know, another black eye to the radio community type of thing. So anyways, as you can see this right here, okay, I want you to focus on the spectrum analyzer closely. <laughs> Normally, what you do is... Uh, you measure from the top to the bottom. So for this amount of output power, according to this sampler, we're going to go about one. Okay. See the marker exactly where it's supposed to be? And then you measure up at this point for how many dB. Well, you should never see anything. If they tell you this is going to do this or that ain't going to do that, you should see nothing. Or the least amount as possible say at 30 kilohertz okay that'll be the sp uh, you know splatter adjacent channel rejection how much power you can maintain okay on the frequency or the channel you're talking on before it splatters on say if you're on 19 before it splatters on 18 and you know the a channel 19 but uh, anyways extremely important all right now the imd and the harmonics are just as important and uh, even very small amounts. See, if you're using some generic type of sample or some cheaper junk, then uh, you're not going to see a true reading. You have to know what the power output is, the dB, and the frequency response it's capable of attenuating at that much power and or in dB. All right? So now, when someone tries to show you, let's, see, let's go back to 30 megahertz, okay? Well, you got a little bit, and that's an accurate reading. Look at that closely. Look at me set up. This is gonna work. I just thought of it. I can't really see the camera. Well, look at that closely. See how that looks? There, I'm out of the way. See it? If you measure the grads, also on this, they will be exactly the same. But if you would go to the default of 20, all of a sudden, you can't see anything very misleading and deceiving so but when we go back down to 15 it's all exactly the same all right scope watts nothing anywhere anyhow is going to come close to it i got to match all this stuff up together stay tuned in you know who it is i hope you learned something there's a lot of shysters out there am i pointing at you yes i am you know who you are. Stay tuned in because you know who it is. 163 down by the Rio Grande. Click subscribe, like, make a comment. Later.